Well, a very good morning on the 20th day of October 2023. I am... Um, I'm glad I opened the computer and got stuck in about the uh, reports from the BBC uh, before 8 o'clock this morning. And to my shock and horror, the... Uh, well, I discovered a complete lie. Uh, I mean, beyond... Uh, all comprehension on a lie. And what it was, was uh, this storm that's affecting Scotland at the moment, uh, particularly in the county of Angus. They um, started off the headline about, you know, searching houses for, a, for, you know, for people because some women fell in the river or something. But uh, they went on to tell you that uh, one metre one meter of rain had fallen. Well, that is a complete and utter lie. And um, so I, I, I saved the, uh, the URL to my favorites as a backup and I immediately got to work to make a complaint. And um, I sent it off to the BBC. I've got a, I've not got a reply. I've got acknowledgement of my complaint as normally happens. Although I've got another one still waiting to be um, responded to on another matter. I send them dozens uh, every every month, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, but anyway, um, lo and behold, 25 minutes after, uh, well actually about 15 minutes after them receiving my complaint, I checked the same report again and completely removed the information which I brought to their attention. What they did was they also to all the wording, I went to my URL. It used to be that uh, if you save something to your, you know, back to up somewhere else, uh, you still had the original report, but they've managed to uh, alter that as well. I don't know how they do it, but they've, they've, they've done that too. So I've got no uh, proof of what I'm talking about now. But uh, anyway, I've the written material, I, I sent your complaint and then you asked for a uh, I had a title, so I just put down exaggeration, totally misleading lie. And I go on to say, in your opening paragraph, you mention about in relation to the naturally occurring autumn storm of the 19th, 20th of October, 2023. I put in brackets, I will not pay homage to its silly name or refer to any unnecessary color coded warning areas. Uh, I mean, the reason for that is I, I just absolutely uh, disagree with these warnings. I think they're very misleading. BBC say there has been one metre of rain along with 70 mile per hour winds. Well, I can't, I can't uh, verify if that's true or not uh, regarding the wind uh, speed, you see. I don't have a speedometer in my garden. Um... Not a speedometer, Andy. Yes. Can you provide proof of where this one metre of rain was collected? Um, was it a rain gauge, perhaps? Because I'm trying to imagine a, a rain gauge which was, you know, constructed uh, with the purpose of measuring metres of rain rather than millimetres of rain. Or you know centimeters, or or even uh, imperial measurements for that matter. So I go on to say one meter of rain, or a hundred centimeters, or one thousand millimeters, is over five times the worst estimates by the Met Office. So can the BBC please provide proof of the location on where the one meter of rain actually fell, please? I am interested. Uh, I am interested, as this would smash the previous record for rainfall in Scotland, set in 1974 in Argyll Butte, by over 750 millimetres, because in 1974 the, there was a measurement of 274 millimetres. Well, I didn't put that in, but you know, I'm just saying, uh, by over 750 mil. Please can you also provide information if this rainwater measurement was collated 
uh, sorry, collected by a private weather station or the Met Office. Your report clearly states a meter of rain. Can you back up your claims? So what I'm saying is uh, it's not a typo error. If they put in uh, a thousand millimeters of rain overnight, then, you know, it might have been a, a zero tapped in uh, accidentally. So that could be forgiven and understood. Uh, so 100 millimetres, we could accept that. That's uh, about four inches of rain. But um, to have um, 40 inches of rain um, overnight is just, well, it's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? And it's a complete lie. But what concerns me is um, the BBC News website is open to the to a world audience. And so there's millions of people uh, potentially who could have opened that uh, news report this morning, got that information and got it stuck in their brain that Scotland had a metre of rain. So you can understand that uh, this is all done deliberately. I mean, they pull that uh, false fo uh, report, but the damage is already done. It's almost like um, if someone, um, you know, is libelous and uh, they say something which, and then re later retract it. It doesn't matter, the damage is already done. So I'm looking for um, more than just a, an explanation from the BBC. I want them to, to, to uh, provide me uh, with more uh, information as to the, came to the decision to print this, because they are a, meant to be professional journalism, uh, journalists, and uh, for that reason they should be asking themselves the question before they print it or publish it on their website. So I'm well within my rights to uh, be asking these questions. And as I say already, I mean, I, I wish now that I'd actually taken a photograph of the, um, the paragra paragraph in question. Uh, so I, I, you need to keep a keen eye on these people. Um, so therefore this complaint has been lodged and uh, I'll, I'll be very interested to see what their uh, explanation is for it. But this is a pure lie. I followed on as well with a, a little bit of uh, chat to the Met, uh, Met Office. And uh, this is about them not mentioning the snow. So I, I'll read my email to them. Um, Please can someone at the Met Office advise why there is no mention of upland snow and blizzard conditions in the eastern Cairngorms, the mountains of Loch Nagar, and those bordering Glen Tilt near Bremar. I am referring to the current storm affecting parts of Scotland. I will not mention your colour-coded areas, as I believe these warnings are misleading and unnecessary. If someone cannot understand the weather conditions, then they should not be going outside anyway. I will also not pay homage to the Met Office's use of silly names for naturally occurring autumnal storms, regardless of their intensity. In my opinion, they belittle Mother Nature, are immature, and must be a source of embarrassment to your well-paid weather presenters who have to stage these names on every weather update. The Met Office uh, have never explained why they use these silly names. Well, that's true. Furthermore, the BBC News website carried a story on Brecon floods where they mentioned one metre of rain had fallen, but did not specify where or how this rainwater measurement was collected. They have since removed this and updated the information, most likely after a flood of complaints, no pun intended. I have also submitted a complaint regarding this obvious inaccuracy to them, but the original URL uh, has also been altered. It was not written as 1000 millimeters as a typing error, but clearly one meter uh, in rainfall, which is ridiculous. The storyline was visible until 8 a.m. I also got to say, can you please advise why the Met Office are not mentioning snow conditions in mountainous areas, which would, uh, I, ass I assume, be of interest to many weather watchers. Your specialist mountain forecast clearly states snow falling to as low as 800 metres by Saturday 21st of October, 
but currently falling at higher elevation. Why is the Met Office so reluctant to mention this? So again, I'll be looking forward to, to their reply on why they um, are so nervous about when mentioning snow. I mean, it is, a, it is an issue. I'm not often, uh, uh, I'm not becoming obsessive about this. I'm just saying it's it's not right. Why on earth did, can they not mention um, within the forecast if you live at a higher elevation or planning to travel over higher level routes, there's a good chance you might uh, incur snow. And they don't even mention snow. Even I've noticed the, the when there is snow showers uh, forecast, they don't call them snow showers, they call them wintry showers. You understand? They, they, they just do not want to mention the word snow. And it's become a, an issue, and I want to get to the bottom of it. So that's the BBC dealt with, and that's the Met Office dealt with this morning. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous, and uh, I noticed a lot of the uh, comments and a lot of the the sites regarding this uh, particular autumn storm. Uh, people are absolutely sick to the back teeth with it, um, of the lies and exaggerations, and in um, the total, I mean. You know, I, I noticed uh, some reporters standing bloody next to the, the coastline. Well, of course there's going to be uh, high waves and uh, getting buffeted about with the wind if you're standing on the bloody coast. That, that's that's normal. Even a calm day, it's, it can be a bit breezy and get your scarf for that blown about your, your neck. So I, I, I just think it's, um, it's just become a bit of a joke now. And um, what what I really concerns me is... Um, Issuing these bloody warnings, um, they've got the highest level of coloured warning for, for, for the Met Office. And uh, this is Cry Wolf, the boy who cried wolf. Well, what's going to happen? People uh, go outside, they find there's not really that much uh, of a problem. Uh, there's a few puddles and a few branches lying around, which is pretty normal stuff. And, um, and then they decide that the next time there's a... Uh, an important weather warning, they totally ignore it because they've had uh, time after time of not having any issues regarding the extent of these warnings and it may well be at a very time when there is uh, a real need not to travel or not to go outside, you understand? So I'm just about to call um, some of the ski centres and uh, ask them if uh, they have a snow uh, on their uh, patch. I can't get any answer from any bloody ski centre. I've called uh, the Lecht and Glenshe and uh, the Cairngorm, but no one's about. So, anyway, um, I just zoomed into the Met Office uh, Glenshe forecast, you see, and this is for uh, today, the 21st of October. Can you see that? Anyway, um, here we go. So, as you can see, uh, by noon today it's turning sleety and then by one o'clock this afternoon it's turning to you know, heavy snow. 90% chance of this snow. What's this? Yeah. Sleet snow here in the little. Yep. We're going to have uh, right snow right through. I've, I've made this a bit larger on my screen so you can see this uh, more clearly. But there's the snow right through until tomorrow. And it continues right through the whole weekend, heavy snow. The temperatures there, you can quite clearly see, I'm sure. The temperature uh, is at a uh, freezing point. Uh, with a feels like temperature because of the wind down to minus 8, minus 7. It's an easterly wind and uh, it's blowing about 30 miles an hour. So I don't know whether, what do you call it, the uh, BBC you got the 70 miles an hour from. And uh, we have wind gusts in the region of uh, 35 to 40 miles an hour, so it's not bad. And uh, so you can see quite clearly there's a lot of snow, uh, and that's for Glenshee. But uh, the Met Office haven't mentioned it on any of the forecasts that there's upland snow, and uh, the BBC um, seem to think we've had a metre of rain. So I'll leave it with, uh, with you with these thoughts. And thanks for watching again.